Hey guys, KP Jax here. I was recently asked how to get music off your iPhone to your Android. I had a friend of mine who uh, decided to go away from his iOS phone and uh, switch to Android, which I use Android. My wife uses an iOS, so we have both worlds. Uh, but anyway, they asked me how to get their you know, 11,000 songs out of their iTunes so that they could listen to it on their Android. And the answer is, you don't really have to. You can use iTunes and have it sync to your Android. Uh, there's a couple ways you can do it. The way I'm going to go over today is using a program called Double Twist, and it will actually sync your iTunes to your Android device wirelessly if you want it to, so you don't have to plug into your computer. And uh, it just takes a couple minutes to set up, so let's take a look at it. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to download Double Twist to our computer. So we are going to go to www.doubletwist.com and you're going to find their syncing app. This syncs iTunes, playlist ratings, uh, counts to your phone, tablet, whatever you're trying to sync it to. And you're going to download it. Now this particular one is for Windows only. Um, although it should, it is bi-directional. So if you put a new song on your Android phone, uh, it will sync back to your computer. So once you do that, you are going to run the program when your antivirus says that it's cool. So just like any program that you download, you're going to have to install it. Um, when you run the install, it does not give you the option to install in a different location. So by default, uh, this program is going to download and install to your C drive. So if you're a little fanatical about where programs installed, you're kind of out of luck. This one just goes right on C uh, like other programs. Now, once it's done, you have the option to launch with the finish or always run startup. I don't like letting programs run at startup because I like to know what they're doing. So I always uncheck the box before I finish so that I can run the program manually. So what you're going to do in order to get this onto your smartphone is you're going to go to the Android App Store and you are going to download Double Twist and install it. It only takes a minute or two. And then you're going to download the AirPlay uh, plug in also for Double Twist. Now I believe this is like a dollar ninety nine or two ninety nine, something like that. I'm sure there are other apps that that do this, but I, I like this app and and being payable usually that means that they're you know legit and they're going to be updating it quite a bit. So I, I've already purchased this in the past because I use this app quite often. All right, so once you get this installed, and what you want to do is you're going to run through the little intro, and then you want to go to your settings, and once you go into your settings, you're going to go to AirPlay. Uh, or air sync and this will show you a code number and what you can do with that is that will correspond to a box on your computer I'll show you that in a minute and once that gets typed in and they match up it will wirelessly sync your music to your Android device and if you can't read your heart of you know sight you can click on set up air sync and it actually pops up and shows you the passcode a little bit bigger you can also cancel pairing and you have the option to change the passcode as well. All right, so now that it's installed on your computer, what you want to do is you can double click the icon down at the bottom and it's going to open up the window. You can either use the USB or air sync. You can right click on the icon and I have it set for scanning for air sync devices. Obviously, for some reason, probably my firewall is blocking it. I'm going to add it manually. Um, so what you're going to have to do is look at your settings on your phone and find your IP address of your phone. Now, this really works uh, if you, well, if you really know your network, you can assign a static address to your phone. Uh, if you don't assign a static address, what can happen is uh, every time your phone reboots or disconnects from your Wi-Fi or whatnot, it can pull a new address. So each time you try to sync, you may need to um, go back and find the address on your phone again. So in my case, what I'm going to do is look at my my phone, look at the, the different settings, and find that particular um, information. All right, so once it recognizes your phone, it's going to ask for the code that is on your phone, and you will type that in and sync them over your network. So it's going to go and look online, well, on your home network, and allow it to sync your device wirelessly. So there's no longer need to be plugged in USB 
to your um, computer. So it's going to plan the sync. It's going to go and look. And then it's going to upload all the files that it needs to your Android device. And the second way to sync your music is to use a USB cable. So I've plugged in my USB cable into my phone and automatically Double Twist pops up and realizes, hey, you have, this is your phone, uh, you have music, pictures, videos, what do you want to sync? You can tell it to automatically sync, convert the music for this device, convert the video. So if you have videos or music in iTunes, um, you know, the default iTunes format is like M4A, so it's not usable by anything else. Um, but you can use this and it will actually convert them to MP3s and copy them over to your machine. So I can hit sync now and it's actually going to go look through my iTunes. I don't have many on my computer. My wife has them all on her machine. Um, and what it's going to do is move them over to my phone. Now, once you finalize syncing, if you're going from your phone to your computer, if it finds anything new, it will actually launch iTunes and show you the new songs that are in iTunes. All right, guys, so there you have it. Within uh, just a few minutes of how to sync your iTunes to your Android device. Um, as always, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share, and I hope to see you next time. Have a good night.